hot off the wires, we're bringing you the latest in insect news, starting with the fire ant. Actually, a glob of fire ants. Put them in water, and they do this. So the mystery is... How are these fire ants floating? That's Craig Tovey, co-author on a paper this week describing the ant raft. And just to elaborate on why this is mysterious. Usually, a raft is made out of materials which are lighter than water. A fire ant, however, is a little bit more dense than water. Yet a pancake of fire ants floats. And they can float for weeks at a time. The researchers describe two factors in flotation. First, the bottom of that ant raft is bumpy, and bumpy surfaces repel water better than smooth ones. Now, the other thing that makes them float is that there are a lot of little bubbles of air trapped between the ants. Then the question was, is there any way to model how the individual ants move to make this raft? I thought to myself, how are we ever going to make any sense out of this? <laughs> it just looks like such a mess, you know? But they found a model that explained the formation. You have thousands of ants, each moving randomly, but that averages out in a nice way to make an almost perfect circle. And not any old circle. It's self-repairing. It's self-assembling. It holds many passengers without killing any of them. And as an engineer, this is one of the things that interests Tovey about this work. Uh, we get ideas by observing and understanding how living organisms achieve functions, which we can then apply to human designs. Which brings us to our next news item. Barry Trimmer and colleagues are trying to make robots that move like these guys. It's one of the strange ironies that we're spending a lot of time trying to understand how an animal moves around when in reality this type of animal doesn't move around very much. And when they do, they face a challenge. Because they have no bones, they can't accelerate very quickly. And the trick that we think caterpillars do is to, is to change their shape. Like this. Trimmer and colleagues made a soft-bodied robot that moves in the same way. They run a wire through the robot body, and it contracts when it's heated. If mobile, a soft-bodied robot, can do things that a hard body can't. Spread yourself out, inflate or deflate, a variety of things you could do if you could actually change shape. Which would be useful if you wanted to make a robot that had to navigate complex terrain, for example. Something that caterpillars are very good at. For Science Friday, I'm Flora Lichtman.